SLM uses liquid crystal on silicon, commonly known as LCUS, as its core device. LCUS devices can control the amplitude, phase, polarization of light, and have excellent light efficiency and high phase stability, which can not be found in other devices. It can be applied not only to displays such as projectors, but also to various application fields such as laser processing, microscopy, and optical tweezers. Santex SLM uses reflective ELCAS and features high phase resolution of 10 bits and excellent phase stability less than 0.003 pi radians. These features will benefit applications that require precise optical controls. Santec has core technologies that support optical application products. By applying these technologies, we have developed SLM with high resolution and excellent phase stability. The resolution of LCUS is full HD, which generate fine phase patterns with high resolution. The aperture ratio of the panel is 95%, which enables high light efficiency. The frame rate supports 60 Hz or 120 Hz. The SLM200 supports a wide range of wavelengths from the visible range to the near-infrared range. The optimum AR coating is applied to LCUS in each wavelength range to maximize the light efficiency. It can be used in various applications such as displays, laser processing, and optical communication. Santec offers two models of SLM, the all-in-one model includes the LCUS chip and integrated driver, while the separate model includes the LCUS chip only. This will be the interface side. It is equipped with a DVI terminal for inputting video output from a PC, a USB terminal for transferring image data, and a SMB terminal for trigger functions. SLM is equipped with various specifications that can meet the requirements of users. The details of the spec are explained below. First, I will explain the DVI input display. When the video output terminal of the PC and the DVI terminal of SLM are connected, SLM is recognized as the second screen of the PC. By displaying an arbitrary pattern on the second screen, LCUS can generate a phase pattern. The DVI standard is generally 8-bit resolution, but Santex SLM uses a unique display method which can display in 10-bit resolution. Next, I will explain how to transfer and display image data. Image data is transferred by connecting the PC and SLM with a USB cable. Up to 128 image data can be stored in SLM. The stored data can be displayed on LCUS from the PC. Next, I will explain the trigger input or output feature. The trigger input feature switches the image that is stored in SLM by inputting a trigger signal. In addition, the trigger output feature is a feature that outputs the switching timing of the LCUS display. These features allow SLM control from an external system rather than a PC. The SLM200 has its own GUI. The GUI is designed to be intuitive and allows you to operate the SLM without programming. In addition, we have prepared a SDK module for the SLM. By using SDK, it is possible to control SLM with various programming languages. Optical control with SLM200 can be used in a variety of optical applications. Santex SLM brings further evolution to optical technology.